Hello Pisces and welcome to your highest timeline reading. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for April the 12th until April the 19th. We'll be drawing from the Earth Oracle, the Energy Oracle and you got two, the Angel Oracle and a quote from the Happiness Project Journal. Let's get started new moon and promise so there actually is a new moon this week as well so that is just gorgeous today actually um the sunday so all of this week you're good to you know the new moon is about making promises to self what would you like to bring in you know for this next cycle you know is there a habit that you're letting go of is there something that you know that you're inspired to do to find out more about or something that you know you would like to see happen you know or following your bliss is there a promise that you've made to self before you know that you're reconnecting with the new moon is in Aries. It's about your passion. It's about your I am Pisces connecting with what is important to you. You know, what feels, you know, real and good and happy for you. You can write down the things that you'd like to release and, you know, um, burn them, you know, on this week, you know, and that releases to the fires of unconditional love. You know, and you can write in a journal the things that you would like to change, to, you know, transform, the things that you would like to birth. And from the energy oracle, storm warning. Hmm. You're noticing that there is a change that's needed. With a storm warning, it's something that you may have been expecting. And... You're trusting in your intuition. You're listening to the signs. With a storm warning, you know, we we hear the thunder on the horizon. Okay, or we see the lightning. We know that there's a storm. Rest and rejuvenation. I feel like this storm warning is also in regards to recognizing the signs in your body. That What are they telling you? That you need this time of rest and rejuvenation. To be able to gather your thoughts. To be able to connect to inner peace. To remember that promise you made to self. Of who you are. Of what you wish to be, create, experience, live, dream, love. And Archangel Michael. Wow. This is some beautiful healing this week, Pisces. This is gorgeous. Archangel Michael is protecting you and guiding you. When Archangel Michael is around, this is, you know, he, he means business. He he cuts those cords of, you know, self-doubt or those cords of attachment of or that which was holding you back. And he allows you to guide forward, to connect to the inner peace of the now, to align you to your truth. Yeah, this is beautiful healing. Let us draw a message from the Happiness Project. We're going to turn to a random number. April 2 may mean something to you. Make a list. Do a little each day and stay calm. This is exactly the whole message. We could have just turned to this. <laughs> That's exactly what this is. So, you know, it's like writing a list. Staying calm. It says, nothing is insurmountable if you do what you know ought to be done, little by little. It really is about, you know, acceptance of what is, you know, sitting still with what is and moving forward because you hear it, you feel it. With the storm warning, you know the time is now to connect with your inner peace and truth. And Archangel Michael is protecting you and guiding you. So I'll read this one. It says, make a list, do a little each day and stay calm. Nothing is insurmountable if you do what you know ought to be done, little by little. Hmm. Bless you, Pisces. Have a gorgeous week. Remember to check that subscribe and thumbs up. And I look forward to your next highest timeline reading here on Crystal Communications. Blessings.